Hello, Hello guys! We are Silk and Kieran and we are on our 10 year honeymoon trip around the world. Yep, and we want to get stuck right in and tell you our top 10 essentials for your next trip around the world. So, um, let's get started. Let's go. Number one is the Osprey backpack. This is our best friend. We've been using it for the last, well, on my side, seven years. Yep. And it never broke. The zips are amazing. It's just an amazing backpack yep. and I would never change. It's important to mention, this has the anti-gravity system which puts all the weight on your hips and um, yeah, you don't need to worry about it coming, pulling on your shoulders or uh, all the extra weight. It also has a waterproof cover so you know, you're pretty much sorted and look how beautiful it is. It's got all the patches from all <laughs> over the world. We, we love Osprey, it has a lifetime warranty. Um, yeah. And I think the cost is around 200 euro, two, 300 euro for a backpack. It's, it's a big it's a big expense but also this one for Silka's one it can be classified as a, a cabin bag so if you don't fill it completely that's going on the plane with you that's what I do very often oh wait <laughs> that brings <laughs> to the next thing inside here we have these exped traveling bags so we have four of them I think four or five and these are waterproof and also keep your stuff really compact so we use these this is full of like is it, I think this is a winter clothes right now, but this keeps everything compressed, compact, um, and also waterproof. And this one, we keep our sweets and coffee and tea in, yep. so the ants cannot come in. Exactly. It's really handy because sometimes it rains, and we don't put our, our cover on, and then we know at least our clothes will be dry. Our sure. clothes will be dry. Yeah, <laughs> the tea and coffee, the sweets are important. Um, I Very think these are around about like 15 pounds or something like that for four, yeah. all different sizes. So this is the smallest one. This is the biggest one to are in between. Um, yes. And plus they're color coordinated, which means you can say, keep t-shirts in one, things in the other. So yeah, highly recommend it. Number three is hydro flasks. Yep, these bottles these. are amazing. They keep your water cold or your tea or coffee warm. Yep. So we have them always with us. We don't buy water bottles as it's very bad for the environment. Exactly. Sustainable. Sustainable. And we highly recommend having a bottle of your own. These ones, I think, are around about like 30 pounds for this one, maybe. But Something it's a like big it. one. You've got a lot of water. I just got this. This. Um, I'm not sure where the lid is from, but I like the, the little sports cap like this. So um, yeah, we love these. Really good thing. Sustainable travel. Water. And they look cool. They look cool. Yeah, exactly. I love got those. to pimp them out with some stickers and stuff. <laughs> that leads us to number four, which is life straw. This is a water filter, which means you can drink straight from the water. You just pop off the tops, put it in any water. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> um, they say you can even drink from muddy water. We use this a lot on Annapurna Circuit, where we were, um, yeah, trekking for three weeks through the Himalayas. We drink from rivers, from all sorts. Whatever you can imagine. Yep. And it's really good. Like the taste is perfect. There's like no added things, so it's. Yeah, it means you don't need to carry around lots of those pills, stuff. I think these do something like a thousand litres or ten thousand mm. litres. I'm not sure. A thousand litres. Yeah. A thousand litres. That's, that's a lot. So that's um, a that we, we've predicted these will last us for a long time. And as I say, we have one each. So um, really, really handy for having on the road. These are around about 30 pounds. So yeah, it's a good investment. It's going to save It's worth it. Save so many plastic and yep. um, yeah, it's perfect. It's super small, super light. We like it. From life straw to life proof. These are phone cases that keep your phone literally life proof. Yeah, so from swimming in the sea to throwing it off a cliff, <laughs> I don't know. This has been through a lot though, my phone. Um, actually, I lost the phone at the start of our trip. Um, I didn't lose it, it just went into the ocean to film some stuff, came back out and never turned back on. It was an iPhone 11 Pro. So um, now I got a um, life proof and this is keeping my phone super safe. I've been swimming with it now. I've yeah, I had it in rivers, had it... Yeah, I've dropped it a lot. I don't drop my phone a lot. Silga drops it, drops it more. What? Oh yeah, okay, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, but also, I think it's just such a nice thing because traveling, you can just use your phone to film stuff underwater in a swimming pool, in the ocean, wherever. Yeah, for sure. Uh, take all those Instagram little shots in the ocean, which yeah. is really cool. And also when it rains, like, you know your phone is safe, you can always yeah. use it. These cases are quite expensive. They're around about 80 pounds, I think. But when you're paying like, a uh, thousand pounds for a phone nowadays you know it's good to keep it protected and um yeah life proof is, is our choice <laughs> number six this is swiss army knife um pretty bog standard every traveler's best friend it's something that we use a lot for cutting fruit um and you know i think it's something i keep in my hip pocket of my backpack and somehow i use it all the time i use a little screwdriver it's especially handy for camera equipment and stuff 
I just keep everything out so we can open this whole thing up. Just to but show um, you. yeah, it's really got everything you need, and yeah, I find myself using it pretty much every day. It even has a little pair of scissors. Yes. You know, I don't think that's everything else. But... Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh, I cut my finger. Okay, so it's a good knife. Um, it's still sharp after after a couple of years of traveling. Um, yep, I'm bleeding. Oh. So um, not for kids, not for <laughs> children or adults who cannot be <laughs> trusted. Samina, mina, eh, eh, waka, waka, eh. The next, <laughs> the next one is waka waka, our travel adapter. Yep. We uh, we just found it waka waka when we were in Belgium, but the, the great thing is it's a nice easy like pop out European and then push to the UK. It's got everywhere. USB as well. And yeah, it's got two USB slots. I think there are better ones now with USB-C and more USB um, ports, but this one's good enough for us. It's done as, I mean every country. It's done, yeah, it's a couple of years old, but it's also done as in Spain, Portugal, Sri Lanka, India, Nepal, Iceland, Thailand. Thailand. I think it's just yeah. a very handy thing to have because everywhere the, the plugs are different. Yeah. So otherwise you always have to go to the market, buy a different plug. This just keeps everything very compact exactly. and it's perfect for travel. This one is around about 20 pounds. We got it in Belgium and yeah, we just find it a really useful thing to travel with. It means we can plug in everywhere we go and yeah, we don't need to buy any in the market. Yeah. Number eight. Head torch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These things are always handy for those evening hikes, um, morning sunrise hikes, and also finding your stuff in the hostel when like everyone's sleeping, you can just be like looking around um, we find these really useful. I have one from Pelly. Um, it was just one that I had. It feels really good. Well I'm built. sure there are so many brands that have amazing torches. So yeah. whatever you want you find will be amazing. This one is around about £35. And um, yeah, I got it somewhere in Scotland before I started travelling. I actually think my dad got it for me. And yeah, we found it's really bright. And it's always good to have a, a good quality one. We would recommend mm. buying a good one because when you're out in those nighttime hikes, having one of these LED LED ones with the lights that go out of the way, it's um, super good. Number nine is a travel card. We yep. are using Starling, and these cards are amazing. Yeah, super important. Um, if you're with a normal bank, you can get charged a lot on foreign transactions, um, and that can be a real that can really make it all stack up. So, for us using something like this, also it's 100% digital, so there is just an app on the phone where you get all the notifications, you can see everything, you can see all the exchange rates. You always get the best exchange rate with, I know for Starling it's always MasterCard mm -hmm. um, exchange rate. And so also good. no monthly fees, so it's completely free yep. and yeah, just very handy to have. I think there's different ones like Monzo and Revolut, so depending yep. on where you are in the world. Sorry, we've got this little guy joining us and he's hey, making buddy. lots of noise. Come, come, come. Come, Mimi. Okay, she's, she's camera shy. <laughs> but um, yeah, do some research, Monzo Revolut, maybe there's a, a better one for you. Starling is for the UK. And um, yeah, also there's a nice little thing, it has saving spaces where on the app you can make little saving spaces and say this one's for, maybe for the whole This is actually but. what we do. So we have one, our personal one, which is in saving space. And then we have one space of us together, yep. which is really handy while traveling as a couple. Um, sure. Yeah, very good. We found out during editing that um, for some reason, my camera stopped filming at that point. I so. think he must have been jealous about the next part, which is number 10, how to capture your memories. We use film camera, Sony A7C, GoPro Hero Black 7, and DJI Mini 3 Pro, and a Sony A7 III, which is gonna work this time. Hopefully, <laughs> or we throw you out. Oh, um, yeah, and this, I guess, all depends on how you want to travel and how you want to capture your adventures. Some people like a film camera just to capture everything in a very special way and have them printed out when they're back home. Other people live a really adventurous life and need some kind of action cam to capture all those um, crazy adventurous moments, maybe the underwater stuff, all that good stuff. Hi hey, Panda! Panda. Yeah. Other people like drones because this gives you a totally different perspective. Yeah, we convinced ourselves for so long, ah we don't need a drone, we don't need it. Then we finally bought one in Chiang Mai and Wow, it's, it's, it's an incredible thing. Yes, and I think we most of all use our Sony's A7C, A7 III because yeah. it's just an incredible camera and it's perfect for film and video. Yep, and you know, we because we are posting all the time on Instagram, which you can see, put a selfie on the road, 
um, yeah, these things come in the most handy for us, but it's all up to you. And I think the most important thing out of all of these things that you've said is to travel with a smile. It's a language that's universal. People understand that in every way you go in the world. If you greet someone with a smile, they're gonna greet you with a smile and it's, it's a really beautiful way to travel. Yeah. So yeah, if there's anything that we've missed out, then feel free to let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, all, and that, good all stuff. that good stuff. Yeah. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day, guys, and we will see you in the next adventure. <laughs> we are... <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Can I see that I have something between your teeth? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Full dry break by expert. Hey, are you laughing with me? Yeah, it's good. Little shit. Hey.